Hey, welcome back to The Pass is Alive. Hope you guys are all having a good weekend. In tonight's video, we're checking out a random 1600 count box that I came across today at an antique mall for 25 bucks. I was about to walk out empty handed and wasn't expecting to find anything. Then I saw this on a shelf along with some other baseball cards and decided to take a chance here. You guys know that I really enjoy finding stuff like this and, um, you know, going through boxes and trying to find gems, rookie cards, stuff like that. And uh, first things that I noticed about this, obviously I was trying to de decipher what kind of cards we had in here, if they're going to be junk wax or whatever else. You see some card savers, if you could tell there. M most particularly in the back here, there's a nice big chunk full of card savers. And it looked like somebody, uh, another customer, like kind of started trying to pry their fingers in here to s see if they could get any kind of idea on what was in there. So... I try to do the same thing a little bit to see just like tops of cards and I really couldn't make out much from what I could tell in the store. It was like, um, I think a Mike Schmidt 1980 tops. I think there's a Vance like, um, 89 Don Russ like in, uh, these cards here, but it could be potentially a good sign. Um, this could also be a whole bunch of junk wax commons. I don't know, but, uh, part of the fun is buying stuff like this and going through it, especially with you guys. It looks like there might be like a 92 classic set. Uh, minor leagues and uh, minor league cards back there but enough out of me let's go ahead and check this out and uh see if we can find ourselves some rookies or any um you know big names in here let's cut it open carefully so i don't slash all the cards up this new knife that i actually got um as a gift from one of my best friends who just got married over the weekend so he gave all the groomsmen uh gifts and this quality knife was in the box, pretty awesome, and then also this too. I thought that was so cool. He gave us all custom pins, and this is the one he gave to me. Obviously, uh, Ray Stance and Slimer, the very first encounter with Slimer in the hotel where Ray cigarette sticks to his bottom lip. So that was pretty awesome. It was a great ceremony, and still trying to recover from the weekend, but. Excited to do this, and I was excited to find some cards. I didn't think I was going to, but let's yank this plastic off here and just start going through this. We'll save the uh, the top loaded or the card savers for last. These are kind of jammed in there. I see some top loaders in this section. I see McGuire. These are Procter and Gamble cards from the early '90s. But um, let's dive into it. See what we have here. Push us off to the side a little bit. All time greats. I definitely remember these cards. I feel like these are from the early '90s. Of Willie Mays. Actually, these are from TCMA, and uh, these are from the 80s. Baseball greats from Swell. I definitely remember those as well. George Foster. Doesn't look like we have a complete set here as we have some duplicates. Joe Torre, but you definitely have some legendary players in here. Obviously, we're looking for rookie cards and uh, maybe some possible errors. Funny photos, as always. There's a checklist for this set. 150 cards, looks like. There's Thurman Munson, who a lot of people think deserves to be in the Hall of Fame. So we've got some 1982 tops here. Rance Mullinix. <laughs> of all people, of course, he would be in there. Lonnie Smith. There's Mookie Wilson's second year. I was trying to really get a feel for this seller because he had a binder there as well. The binder was 35 bucks. He had a whole bunch of like sets. I'm not sure if they were complete or not, but they are mostly like junk wax there, like 89 tops and stuff like that. And I looked through the binder... And I was trying to get a feel for it, like based off of his price, if there could be possible stars or rookies and stuff in here. There's Dave Concepcion, all-star card from 1982. John Wathen, of course, the Omens will be showing up. Rod Carew is a nice one in action. And these cards, I mean, they're not in pristine condition, but they're not, uh, there's no creases or anything yet, at least. And we have a rookie card here, but no one too notable in that one. And back to these more kind of Different sets. We're well, not really mainstream sets. There's Gaylord Perry. Bob Feller. Jerry Kuzman. Just talking about him recently. Um, Don, and of course, Don Mossy. I'm sure everyone can get the... Uh, <laughs> can get pretty excited about seeing that one. Phil Necro. And John McGraw in this stack. Might as well look through this one that we put off earlier, too. These are yeah, these are Procter & Gamble's. Uh, I want to say I have like some sealed packs of these. Came in different uh, segments to complete the set. And there's a Bonds from 1994. I don't know if these were like in beef jerky containers. I know they used to do that. 
And we got some looks like tops inserts here. This is like a mystery finest of Albert Bell. That's a, definitely a nice one. Eric Caro's late '90s finest. Travis Lee. I don't know when this box was put together, or how long it's been sitting there, but that would have been a hot one back then. Scott Rowland, who may make his way into Cooperstown someday. Baby Boomers, and a Greg Maddox milestone. I think this is an insert from late '90s tops. I feel like I pulled one of these. Looks like 1998 tops. Pulled one of these out of a box before. That's pretty awesome. Like that one a lot. Probably like my favorite car we've seen so far. Check this out. I guess it's from 97 Skybox EX 2000. This is a really awesome and unique set. And boxes of these are pretty expensive. You can find them. I, I don't think you could probably find a box of these for like less than 500 bucks. Um, there, there's not many out there from what I've seen. Uh, so maybe someday we'll rip that. But Ryan Sandberg for Craig B. If you don't have that one, let me know and I will send it to you. Moises Alou, the dollar tag on it. Second year Moises Alou. This may have been in here for the last 30 years, that dollar price tag. We're encroaching into some territory that I'm not too great with. There's Tom Barrasso. So we got some hometown pens here. Ron Francis. Maybe there's a Lemieux in here. But uh, <laughs> I don't know why. It's, it says baseball, clearly marked on the outside. We've got some uh, other random ones in here. Alex Smith. Couldn't tell you if that was a good one or not. But it looks like we have a mixture of different things in here. I don't want to spend too much time on these because, you know, there's a lot to go through. Steve Trout. But I'd say the Maddox and the Sandberg, my two favorites so far. Some more Procter & Gamble cards. Dave Bergman. 82 tops. Obviously, we're looking for Cal Ripken rookie card. There's some other ones in there, too, like Dave Rigetti, Dave Stewart, Lee Smith. And we've got some sport flicks. I think these are from 1990. Greg Maddox, another Maddox is a nice one there. Sid Fernandez and the 93 Fleer Atlantic Edition. They used to give these packs out at gas stations back in the early 90s. 25-card set. And there's Juan Gonzalez. And there's a Hall of Famer, Bruce Suter, his all-star card. Not too bad of shape, either. We've got some holograms here. American National League. Those are two cool ones. Mike Greenwell. And back to some 82s. John Tudor Sutcliffe. I used to have a bunch of these as a kid. Baseball greats. And back to some more late 80s and early 90s. Is that 1990? That's 89. Football. And even some like kind of more modern stuff. There's a big crease in that one. Michael Westbrook was definitely kind of a big prospect back when uh, I was heavily collecting not so much football. I definitely had some Westbrook rookie cards, but uh, that was probably like 95, I think, in that era. There's Juan Gonzalez. Mark Teixeira. So we've got some like early 2000s in here. Ray Durham. Maybe we'll find a Jeter minor league card. That'd be pretty awesome. Orlando Palmero. Haven't heard that name in a long time. Butch Husky. Marty Cordova. I definitely was pumped on him for a while. Upper Deck Reserve. J.D. Drew. Christian Guzman. Derek Lee. So it's definitely possible to find some, some nice stuff in here based off of what we've seen. Jimmy Rollins, Galarraga, Scott Rowland again. But I'm still holding with Sandberg and the Maddox being my two favorites. Andrew Jones. It's a decent one there. Brian Jordan and Carlos Lee. Back to Upper Deck once again. But stuff like this, um, people have just random boxes they find at estate sales and auctions and stuff like that and if they don't know much about them then you could potentially have yourself something really nice you know there could be a mike trout rookie card in here 2011 update you never know and people that buy these at auctions most of the time they have no idea they don't even bother going through it because it just would take forever to go through and look up every single card on ebay and try to figure that out so yeah, you never know you might get lucky it's Probably unlikely, but it's definitely possible. Andy Pettit, Cody Ransom. I've never seen this car, these cards before ever. Fleer Triple Crown, Andrew Jones. Cool photo of him. Jim Tomey, Bobby Thompson, Golden Moments. Dan Ugla and Scott Moore rookie card. These are 2000 and, is this 2007 tops. Those years kind of mess with me a little bit. Phil Nevin, Josh Hamilton, uh, Tim Lincecum would be the Big rookies out of these black bordered tops cards. Outlighter Garrett Anderson. So you're definitely seeing some stars 
Carlos Beltran will more than likely not ever make the Hall of Fame. Juan Encarnacion, Kilvio Veras, and now we've got some early 2000s tops. Maybe there's some, these aren't update, but uh, that would be pretty awesome to see a random Pujols rookie card in there. Mark Grudzelonic, and back, the whole way back to 1994 with Bernard Gilkey. The Omens, it's only a matter of time until they showed up. They showed up early, and they just keep swinging. Tim Raines also swinging there. Cool-looking photo of him, Tony Tarasco. 94 score, tricky. If you ever see a box of these, I would kind of be hesitant to buy them because they definitely do brick up and stick together, and you will have paper loss for that year score. I at least I really like the, this year of Don Russ, too. I just thought it was a different design. Matt Williams, decent one there. Ken Hill, you know, I actually saw his 89 Don Russ at the, uh, the antique mall I went to today for 30 bucks. It was still sitting there. I thought for a second that they reduced the price, <laughs> but I was mistaken. There's Mel Rivera. That's a nice one, though. Fleer Focus, another set that I've never seen before. This looks like it's from 2000. Definitely a decent one. Eric Chavez, back to the 07 tops. Braves team card. Braves stuff is definitely hot right now, of course. Tina Martinez, Buner, and back to the 01 tops. 01 tops also very notorious for sticking together. And now into 92 Leaf. Pudge Rodriguez, a second year card of him. Jose Lean, I would have loved that as a kid. Luis Gonzalez, also a second year. Guzman, was pumped on Juan Guzman there. So I should probably try to speed up a little bit. Already got 12 minutes in the video, and I barely even scratched the surface on this. Jose Vizcaino. Tappany. Is that Matt Williams again? And <laughs> an empty card saver. What was once in there? Is it a trout rookie? We'll never know, I guess. Manny Ramirez. And some more modern stuff. Back to the early 2000s, I guess. Craig Biggio. Nice one there. Galarraga. Travis Lee. Cam Nitty, Jim Tummy, and a Buner. Power Corner, Schmidt and Chipper Jones. Cool one. Offerman, Scott Carl, and Upper Deck First Pitch. I never liked how Upper Deck branched off and did all these, like, you know, different kind of sets with, like, First Edition and First Pitch and Victory and just never, never liked it. 94 Donruss, always had a soft spot for that set. I want to say, I, I think I hand collated it back in 1994, I think. Kent Bottenfield. I thought that was a cool set, though. It was so much like more nice-looking than 93 Don Russ. Just step up from the previous year. Shane Reynolds, Paul Bird, Aaron Boone. Cool photo of him. And I was like, is that a no-name on front? <laughs> Maglio Ordonez. It's pretty cool. I don't know if it's supposed to be like that or not. Joe Torre, manager card. Hector Carrasco. Terry Francona. And Gene Lamont. And Tops propaganda piece, it looks like. CVS. Paul Quantrill. It's a name I haven't said in a long time either. Mike Remlinger. And horrible paper loss on that Soriano. But let's see if we can find a Lindsay come rookie or something else. I am eager to see what is in those card savers. Joel Zumaya. Jake Peavy. Jeff Kent. 2002 opening day. And now Fleer Platinum from the early 2000s. Travis Fryman, Rob Ventura, Kim Nitty, and bouncing all over the place here as far as the years go. Tommy, Corey Patterson, Harnish, Mark McGuire, League Leaders. Not an insert card. I think these were subset card, but a couple nice ones in here now. Big Mac, some Frank Thomas. Very nice. Clemens, and now Sosa. Pretty nice. Paul Canerco, and back to the minors. I'm definitely pretty sure that uh, Jeter is in that set, so maybe we will see one in there. Beltron and Soriano. Alomar, Pudge, and Barry Bonds. Nice ones. Barry Larkin, Pudge again. So these are all definitely all part of the base set, but uh, maybe that will lead to something crazy. It would be nuts to find uh, some of the traded in there. Ichiro Pujols, Rick and Keel, and Manny again. There's Kerry Wood from 04 Donner's Classics. I guess I skipped over like oh, so I got a lot to look through. Sandberg, they're from Hostess, I believe. Used to love these as a kid. Sandberg and Strawberry. 
Nothing too notable there. Mike Lamb, Gold Cup, Ramon Santiago. And 2003 Tops shows up. Don't see those too often, at least I don't. Matt Morris. And All-Star Autographs. 1993, Drysdale. A bunch of Drysdales. Beltron again. Moga Dyer. Astros team card now. Sosha. Pick up the pace here just a little bit. Dave Steeb, Eric Milton. So, I don't know. I guess it's a toss up on what the best card is. Like, there's nothing worth more than probably a, a couple bucks in here so far. The Maddox is probably the most valuable thus far. Raul Mondesi, unless you consider this one of the most valuable, which. I'm sure ripping for Ripkins, my good buddy would. 10 of 15. That was, a, that was a cool insert set, though. Ray Lankford, Denny's card. 94 draft pick from the base set. Really nothing too notable as far as those draft pick cards go. Paul Canerco was in the traded set that year. Bobby Bo and Marcus Giles, 0-2 opening day. We've got some more football in here. You'll have to tell me if I skipped over something good. Champ Bailey is a decent one from... What I know, or what I think at least. Probably not going to be any big time rookies in here as far as that goes. Troy Palomalu. And Carnell Lake. Dan Marino. Decent one there. Looks like it has a muffed up top left corner. Greg Lloyd. And back to some pens. A couple Heinz Wards. Wallace. Some Buckos. Thomas Everett in a yellowed top loader. Paul Malu again. Barry Foster is a Griffey. First one in this box. Ding the corner. <laughs> James Loney. And these are what? 2008 tops. The white one are 08. Tim Salmon. And there's Donnie Baseball in a penny sleeve. About one point. That was selling for two bucks somewhere. Tim Salmon. Another Maddox that was discounted half off. Gold stars all root. I thought these inserts were pretty cool back then too. This is from like the early, like what was ninety four I think. Those are ninety four score insert cards. Another Maddox, the same one again. And Tony Pena. Why was that a dollar? <laughs> I don't remember any part in my life or at any point in my life where a Tony Pena eighty eight tops card was worth one dollar. Exorbitant price on that one. Vernon Wells. Dale Murphy, Naughty Bowman, and a Sheffield from Fleer Ultra. Back to that 96th Donruss. Jim Tomey. I've seen quite a few of him in here. Krim Garcia. I was super hyped on him in 95. And there is a Frank Thomas triple play. A booklet. Cards. So a lot of commons in here, Jack Morris. As to be expected, but I had better luck with stuff like this than I do with buying lottery tickets, so... Beltron, Jim Tomey, Raphael for call, Matt Williams, Andrew Jones, Adam LaRoche, Orlando Cabrera to end that little stack. And we're almost down with the first row as everything tumbles over. Some more 2001 tops. Tony Womack, Jay Buhner. Jacques Jones, Rondell White, Preston Wilson, Hideki Arabu, Moises Alou, Randy Johnson, another one of those subset cards, very flashy looking. Wade Boggs, a nice one there. Chris Singleton, Gold Cup. There's El Duque. Bonds, 400 home runs. He had quite a few of these cards in this set. There's not sure exactly how many, but they're a bit. McGuire and A Rod. I don't know if I've ever seen that card before. It's pretty cool. Hasegawa. Hammonds, Jeffrey Hammonds was, his stuff was surging back in the early 90s. Or his 92 Bowman USA foil card was, it's like 50 bucks at one point. His rookie was in 91 traded. That was definitely another hot one back then. Tim Salmon, now you can buy those cards for probably a nickel if you see them. Terry Mulholland and Jeff Weaver from Fleer Traditions. We got some top loaders coming up. Maybe there's some goodies in here. Donnie Baseball, 94 Bowman. I like that set a lot. I just bought a sealed box of those for my Bowman uh, collection. Baseball greats. Some 90 Don Russ. Tony Gwynn, 88 tops. Willie Green. 
Andy Pettit, there's Vernon Wells early on in his career. Carlos Delgado and Chan Ho Park from 04. Donner's Classics getting down to the bare bones on the first side. Kurt Abbott, Boys of Summer. I like those too back then from that early 90s score, 94, I believe. 60 cards insert set. Huge set. Phillies Stadium card. Some stickiness here. 93 Troll Play. Used to buy a bunch of those, as I'm sure most people did as kids because they were so affordable. There's one error card in there that I do not have. Donner's Fan Club. I never really cared for these ones. Billy Wagner. A couple Billy Wagners, actually. Berkman. A little bit sticky. Derek Lee. Bartolo Colon. Scott Rowland. Andrew Jones. So definitely a lot of the same names, too. CC Sabathia. Travis Lee again. JT Snow. Podge Piazza. And there is Giambi. Honor Roll. And we got some cards and penny sleeves coming up. Jay Bruce, classic walk-offs. Insert. It's a pretty sweet one. And Tommy Lasorda. There's another Maddox. I guess whoever owned this box at one point must have been a Maddox collector. There is Donnie Baseball again. The foil with the diamond in the background. It's a sweet one right there. Juan Gonzalez, second year card from the once very premium 91 Stadium Club set. First year of Stadium Club. There were five bucks a pack at one point. Ozzy again. Is that Mark Langston Award winners from the mid 90s Ultra and Metal? These boxes have really skyrocketed over the last year. Vernon Wells, Donnie Baseball again, and 83 Tops. And there is Vernon Wells, SP Top Prospects. Final stack. We have a search pack that once cost nine bucks. 2018 Series 1. I'm intrigued by what we might find in there. Hideo Nomo. Larry Walker, 94 score. I don't necessarily think that deserves being a top loader, but to each his own. Mark Grace, Pedro Martinez, Manny Ramirez, Bill Van Landingham, first day issue <laughs> for Craig B. If he watches this video, fan club die cut Beltron. There's Larry Walker. Big Mac from Starlight. Or it was Starline that made the posters. A very beat up strawberry. Austin Jackson, first Bowman. Nolan Ryan star line. There's a random Don slot. Does that say 76 cents or 75? I really hope that that is a six. 76 cents for these. <laughs> the fecal stained Don slot. I'm sure it's not actually fecal, but. Bernie Williams, Mike Maddox in a penny sleeve for whatever reason. Dave Winfield, Mike Stanley. That's a first day issue as well. These were actually parallels that were harder to pull. Alex Rodriguez, Kurt Schilling, some 95 Tops classic there. I used to buy a bunch of those. Rafael Palmero, Yvonne Rodriguez, Upper Deck Reserve. Alomar Jr., Chris Davis, Walker, Abreu, and Sheffield. Let's go into this pack and see what's in here. The search pack. That was once nine bucks. Ian Happ, Gold Cup. Let's see what we can find. Troy Tolowitzki, Chris Bryan, insert card. Mookie Betts, nice one there. Trey Turner. Dexter Fowler, Nolan Arenado. 2018 update set is where all the big rookies are at. Suarez, Juan Soto, and several others. Granke, Chris Davis again. Aaron Nola. Mazzara, and Alex Wood. So nothing too crazy in there, but uh, definitely a few nice names. Let's attack this other side and see if we can do a little bit better. On the left, A. Bartlett Giamatti starting it off. 1990 Donruss and some more baseball greats. Eddie Matthews for Criterium Racer, if he watches this video. Collects Eddie Matthews and the Milwaukee Braves. So we've got some more legendary players, Hall of Famers. And um, these are from 1990. Pacific made these. Dusty Baker. Catfish Hunter. Try to speed this side up a little bit more. You know, I keep saying that and then <laughs> not really doing it. Buddy Bell. Babe Ruth, 60th home run. And we got some more 82s over here. Dave Steeb. 
Bobby Brown and some more baseball greats. Seaver. Satchel Page. Still need to get a Satchel Page 53 tops. And I'm kicking myself because I saw a decent one at a card shop about a year ago. And it was, I think it was like 150 bucks. And I didn't buy it. Really wish I would have because I think now they're commanding like about 400 bucks. And those are like, I think those are ones I'm like pretty, you know, not mint condition whatsoever. Steve Stone. And what else are we going to find in here? 88 tops, Vince Coleman. Some 84, some different cards, though. Jeff Reardon, his bitter beer face. 94 flares, Burt Bly, 11, 85 tops. Danny Gladden. So, a wide array of years and of commons. Carlton Fisk, I mean, we definitely have some Hall of Famers, stars mixed in here. Can't really expect a whole lot when you buy boxes like this. Al Nipper, George Springer, it's a really cool photo of him. Tim Raines, 88 Donruss. Candy Audi. But it will have something really nice heading our way with uh, those card savers. Or they're going to be <laughs> all omens or something of that nature. Pat Sheridan. Albert Bell. It's Kurt Schilling, 92 tops. <laughs> Turk Wendell. <laughs> I thought that car was pretty ridiculous and definitely caught him at a very bad time unless he, like, you know, he decided that, yeah, I want, I want my photo to be me brushing my teeth. Joe Orsalak, also a bad timing for a photo. Kind of a suggestive pose there. Henry Cotto, minus the stash. I guess the stash was starting to grow in there a little bit. I love that Budweiser sign in the background. I'm kind of upset that that was cut off. And Tom Hankey, looking dorkier. Than ever before. Jim Eisenreich. There's a William McCovey all-time classic. George Bell, 84 tops. And uh, we have a cloth card. Pretty random. Don't see those too often. Dave Pagan. 70s cloth card. Tony Gwynn. Meet the Stars. Jeff Weatherby. Carter, 90 Bowman. Some 91 score. You can't have a random box from Antique Mall without having 91 score in There's Sandberg. Cecil Fielder, Steve Sachs. It's actually a second year Steve Sachs card. For anyone that cares, Eddie Murray, 91 tops and 90 tops. And another Andrew Jones here, Leaf Rookies and Stars from the early 2000s. Derek Lee. This is pretty awesome because I did not have this card. I am pretty excited about that. I have, I keep Derek Lee in my rookie box and I want to say I have all his rookies except for his 94 score. I don't even think I've ever seen it before. So, I'm going to put that aside. I'm pretty excited about that. Not a high-dollar card by any means. It's like, but uh, that will join my rookie box. So, that is pretty sweet. Um, let's see what else we got here. Junior Felix. More PNG cards and some more 82 tops. Greg Lazinski in action. Paul Splitorf and Steve Avery. 1990 upper deck. I love that Frank Thomas. It's second year Thomas. Obviously, most people are not fans of 1991 Fleer, but uh, that's a sweet card. Ben McDonald, rookie card. I'm surprised it's even in there. If this box has been sitting around for that long. Orlando Cepeda. Dave Dravecki. Sal Bando. Quite a mixture of players in this set. There's Phil Rizzuto. Just saw his autograph come out of the most recent Jam Pack box, if you didn't see that. Very, very cool from uh, Signature Series Donruss from 2003. Nice surprise there. Earl Weaver, Brooks Robinson, Hank Aaron, baseball greats. Thrown in there, Jesse Barfield. A couple Lou Brocks, Carew, Garvey, Bob Gibson. Still need to track down Bob Gibson, rookie, 1959, along with Monty Irvin. His rookie is 1952 tops. One I don't really see too often. Killebrew and Ralphie Kiner to end that stack. And some new ones here from 86 TCMA. Aparicio, Hank Bauer. Can't say I've ever seen this before. There's Big Pal. Brooks Robinson. Jim Palmer. Robinson. And some 90 Bowman portraits of Ryan Jackson. Greg Olson. Yount. Joe Carter. 72 tops alerts. <laughs> Somebody's clawed out Alex Johnson's eyes. Not expecting that. Don Kessinger and Tony Oliva. That's pretty awesome. Too bad it has... All kinds of paper loss. And 
tape stains on it. Tony Oliva. Definitely a cool one, though. And so is this one. Jim Cott, Danny McClain on here. But beat to hell. But still cool nonetheless. Jake Gibbs. Jim Gentile. There's a Jim Palmer 82 tops. And some 75s. John Ellis. Randomly thrown in there. Horrible miscut on there. John Matlack. Cool one here. McCovey and Killebrew. Don Stanhouse. Jackie Brown. And we got some uh, late 80s cardboard pop-outs. McGuire, Strawberries, Eddie Matthews again. There's a cool one, though. Pete Rose and Steve Carlton. Definitely a nice one. And Eckersley. A couple decent ones there. And a bunch of stickers, which I spent a bunch of time on those. They're pretty self-explanatory, and I'm sure people want to see the cards more so than the stickers. Dick Lang, 75 tops. So many bad miscuts in that set. There's a 71, Nate Colbert. Some rookies there and some 68s. Phil Ortega and Bernie Allen. Not in the best condition, but still cool nonetheless. <laughs> Ron Santo. Thought he was giving the suck it sign there for a second. DX. Robin Roberts. Rusty Staub. Wait, Wilhelm Billy Williams. Lots of big name players in here. Yaz, Seaver. How many cards this is in this set? I'll have to look that up. Larusa, maybe even try to piece it together. The whole set might even be here, but uh, probably not. It looks like there's a lot of duplicates in there. Let's see what else we got in this mystery box. Back to some football. Blair Thomas, 1990 draft pick. Bob Boone, Rod Carew, another 82 tops. This one is also beat up, run over by a bike tire. And back to PNG. Galavin. Probably have the. Uh, Close to that whole set, too, I would think by now. McGuire MVP from 88. And there's a Delgado. It's actually a second-year card. Delgado is really only true rookie card. is 92 Bowman. And a late 90s Big Mac. A couple of them in the, the same penny sleeve there. That's cool. And his Mystery Finest is definitely a nice one as well. like that one. Delgado, uh, minor league card. Cool one. I never saw that one before. Maybe the gold variant, I guess. Joey Bell. Albert Bell. Jim Palmer, Dave Winfield, 83 tops. Cool one there. Manny Ramirez, Long Ball Legacy, and some um, holographics. I like to get a box of these, too, but they are kind of pricey. There's not many cards per pack, but not a Big Mac. Puckett, and there's Derek May. So, pretty cool card. Thick card stock. Robbie Almar, Ringmasters. Brett Favre. Brett Favre and I actually share the same birthday. I'm sure I probably said that so many times on here. Bunch of Curry Puckets. Parker, always like that card too. Lou Brock and Henderson. Henderson again. Some more Maguires. Guzman. Eric Caros insert. Some Roberto Clementes. I think these were like. I think you got these with like bread, I'm pretty sure. City Pride. I'm pretty sure it was bread, right? Definitely had one of these as a kid. That's pretty cool. Can't say I've seen. Uh, those cards, and I don't even know, probably 25 some years. And there's more of them. They just came, just tucked away in the bread bag. And check that out Ty Cobb, um, Patch. These are, yeah, 2019. They're in the last couple of years. Klesko and Tommy. Captain Moss, some 92 per deck. Let's see if we can find a Mayor Mirror's rookie card. Fingers crossed. Tom Glavin Boggs. There's, <laughs> there's that suggestive chicken with Cecil Fielder. Suggestive card right there. Kenny Lofton. And uh, there's Juan Gonzalez again. Move on. Dean Palmer. Looks like he's going to beat somebody. And there are Mark Newfield and Rondell White. I remember thinking when I was a kid that this card was going to be like the future. Like this is going to be like a $200 card. <laughs> Could have been more wrong about that one. Mike Kelly also looking like he's going to beat you, or maybe he's going to meet Kevin Brown for a duel. There's Ted Wood. Definitely was stoked on him back then, too. Todd Van Poppel, Chuck Knobloch, Rookie of the Year, and Classic again. We're getting close to these card savers. Chris Mullen, another Ben McDonald rookie card. Eric Karras, rookie. Nice. That came out of nowhere. Second rookie, Derek Lee, and now Eric Karras. Puckett, Tim Raines, early card, 83 tops. There's an 84, and John Tudor from 81. Greg Jeffries, Gold Cup. Cecil Fielder, J.R. Richard, and Todd Zeal. Hyped on that one back then. This is his first Topps card. Dykstra, Jerome Walton, same thing with that. 
Super hyped on that. Tony Gwynn, Guidry, and Conseco and Henderson. Musina second year. Some more 92 per deck. Got stacks of cards everywhere. Probably going to collapse over any second. Eric Karos. See if we can find uh, Manny Ramirez rookie or... Yeah, Sean Green also in this set. Probably the second best one. Jim Tomey's rookies in 91 Upper Deck Final Edition, as well as Pedro Martinez. There's Sandberg, 92 drill play. Bagwell, second year card. Keith Comstock. Quite a few errors under his belt as far as cards go. Herbeck, Gaetti, Joe Necro, Tommy Murphy. Random Bowman rookie card. To see some more of those in here. Ramon Garcia, Coleman. And uh, let's get to the card savers. How about a Magic Mets? Jimmy Key from Circa, Dick Hauser. And let's see what this... This is definitely the cla a classic set in here. Classic best. So this was a pack. 12 collectible cards per pack. I was thinking it was going to be a set. I forgot that they came in these like unique packaging. Let's see what we have in here. Let's we'll see if we have... Um, there's some good names in here. You can get Griffey. There's Nolan Ryan's in here. Some autographs. Midray Cummings. It's not the guy I was looking for. Bobby Jones. Fernando Vina. So we kind of struck out big time on that. But let's hopefully not strike out on the rest of this box because we have quite a few card savers to go through here. I'm going to pull this off the screen. Everything is collapsing, it is chaos. Let us see what we have. Push it off to the side for suspense. Seem to be all in card sa card savers. Is this um, an SP from probably the early 2000s? Tony Gwynn, Andrew Jones. These will probably be our higher dollar cards if they were higher dollar at one point. Roy Oswalt, Mark McGuire, 91 Don Russ, Mitch Moreland, Mike Fulton Awich. It's not even his rookie card. I'm not sure that's in a five dollar tag. Brian Giles, Gary Redis. This is what you have to worry about. <laughs> no wonder that they were sealed up. So you weren't able to see that the cards that are in card savers are Gary Redis. Jerry Owens. But um, like I said, I saw in 1980 Tops, Mike Schmidt. So there could be some nice ones coming up. We will have to wait and see. Al Kaline, this, with the 75 design. Denny's Jackie Robinson. Glenn Wilson, of course. So, Pirates, these were all Pirates, I guess, for the most part, or a good bit of them in there. Mike Schmidt, 1980 Tops, and not, man, I guess there is a little crease down there, so. Not amazing condition, but still cool nonetheless, 82 Tops, Mike Schmidt. And some more buckos, Brian Giles, I was pumped on him back when he played the Pirates. Sosa Sport Flicks, Kent DeColvey, and Paul Wagner. The first stack of the card savers down, 94 Flair Puckett. Chipper Jones, nice one there. John Farrell, Fleer Excel Minor Leaguers of Bagwell, Diamond Kings, cool one. Fred Lynn, Ripken, 87 tops, cut pretty bad. Robbie Alomar, Yankees, team card. Ichiro, that may actually, eh, I was going to say, maybe it's a 2015 short print, but uh, I don't know, it's, some, it's archives, I guess. Another Ichiro, pretty sweet. Henderson with a motion card. Strawberry. There is a pudge. Does that say? Well, was two bucks. Now a buck. Lofton inserts. And an autograph here. Maybe not. I was going to say. Was that a real, was that a real social autograph? That would have been awesome. But there's a huge crease across it. Pro Sigs. Strawberry. Stephen Biscotti. Socha. And Ken Griffey Sr. 79. Tops. That would probably be... At a flea market, and someone will probably be charging 100 bucks for that, thinking that you'll fall for it. Greg Maddox again, and a pack wrapper, part of a pack wrapper from 2018 Tops. It's interesting that that's in a card saver. I'm not really sure why some of these are, but Greg Maddox, 97 Tops. I might rip a box of those sometimes. So that was like the final year I collected, and I like that design. There's Garrett Anderson, Bobby Shantz, action packed. Mark Gardner, metal for a buck. Not sure where they, <laughs> they were selling these for a buck at, but we'll leave that to the imagination. Sosa League Leaders, subset card. Tigers get Prince Fielder. Cool card there. Aaron Nola, just saw that in that pack. And some more modern. We'll back to the 90s again. 96 Pinnacle. Sosa, Adam Dunn. 
There's a cool Mark Grace insert. Piazza from Tops 206. Lefty Grove action packed. Justin Turner. Carlos Correa. Baseball Heroes. And uh, that's pretty sweet, though. Bonds Award winners from 94 Ultra. Definitely like that one, too. It's probably one of my favorite ones from this box. John Lester. Chris Davis, League Leader Severino. Brian Anderson and Daniel Murphy. To end that stack, one more little stack left, and then we will finally end this ridiculously and tediously long video that's now 40 minutes. The final stack. Marcel Ozuna. Show us a Mike Trout 2011 update. Shane Victorino. Chris Bryan insert again. J.D. Martinez. I would settle for a J.D. Martinez rookie even out of 2011 update. Either or. Not going to be greedy here. David Duvall. Golf card. Couldn't tell you anything about that. Another Chris Bryan insert. Gene Segura and... We finish off with a card we saw like five or six of, ironically enough, in that box. Now in card savers and top loaders, but Don Drysdale. So that finishes the box. Definitely a good time to go through those. Uh, was it worth 25 bucks? Probably not. I don't know. It just depends on what you get value from. For me personally, it's rookie cards. And I did find two and one that I did not have in there, but... For me, more so, it's just about the thrill of chase and the fun of going through cards, seeing cards I haven't seen in years and names I haven't said in years and just uh, taking a risk and a relatively low one. But Eric Karras, rookie card, and Derek Lee were probably the two best baseball rookies that we saw in there. So drop me a comment down below and let me know if uh, you thought 25 bucks was a good deal, if you would have bought it. If you enjoyed the video or even what your favorite card was, I'd love to hear from you guys. And I thank you all for watching. I hope to see you very soon. Have a great rest of your weekend, guys.